Hi, I want to talk about spinal disc degeneration. Another common name you'll hear quite often is degenerative disc disease. Although a lot of these conditions are asymptomatic, meaning that degeneration like arthritis, like blood pressure, high blood pressure, like diabetes, and many other diseases are asymptomatic to the later phases. But realize that spinal disc degeneration is a very common cause of herniated discs and bulging discs, as well as neck pain, radicular pain into the arms, or low back pain, or sciatica, which is affecting the sciatic nerve that goes down the leg. So what causes this spinal disc degeneration? Most of it is uh, traumatic uh, or repetitive, or what we call cumulative trauma disorder, uh, those people who have excessive loads of uh, poor posture, of pronated rounded shoulder, forward head, uh, carriage for prolonged periods of time, slumping over a computer, texting, uh, reading, looking down, writing, as well as those people who have to bend quite frequently. Even drive, sitting with vibration, puts a tremendous load and uh, wear and tear on the disc structures. Another very common thing is obesity. Uh, when a person has an, uh, a more uh, fat, or if you're more perfectly plumped, we can say, or heavy around the gut, uh, what happens is it puts a tremendous load on the lower back, causing the lower back to change its normal contour and curve. It puts stress upon the ligaments, and again, uh, indirectly putting stress on the discs. Uh, one thing I can tell you, about degenerative disc disease is that you need to get back to basics. Uh, look at your posture, uh, making sure your head and ears are in line, uh, your uh, shoulders are in line with your hips and your knees. Uh, watch the forward uh, pronation of the shoulders, strengthen the rhomboid, stretch the chest or the pec muscles. Uh, change positions, positions frequently, very important. If you're uh, involved in a type of activity, uh, the type of work you do, maybe your occupation, you need to get up, change positions frequently. If you're driving long periods of time, get a support behind your lower back, but you need to get out of your car periodically, change positions frequently. Uh, discs uh, do not have the vascularity after childhood, so therefore there's no circulation to the disc. And the, the best way to get nutrition to the disc is through diffusion. Diffusion meaning that there's movement and uh, change occurring within that disc. So low force uh, exercises are great. Uh, people who do a lot of squatting, I'm against it because the load, even though you can, you can push the weight with your heavy muscles or your strong muscles, but the cartilage, the discs, do not have any type of strength barrier. Uh, again, as you degenerate disc, discs do not regenerate they will continue to get thinner, therefore leading to spinal stenosis, leading to degenerative joint disease, arthritic or, or osteoarthritic changes, and encroachment, which is narrowing of where the nerves are coming out of. So uh, if you have this condition, don't panic because the, the term degenerative disc disease is not really a disease, it's a disease process. It doesn't mean you have, have to suffer this disease your whole life, but you need to slow it down and you need to become aware of it. Uh, how do you know you have this? Obviously through radiographs, MRI, CAT scan, uh, and a lot of people are very shocked or saying, wow, look at my discs. Uh, I never knew I had that. Well, it is silent, but you need to look back at basics, the things you're doing to preserve. As you get older, uh, I'm gonna tell you, you need to uh, lighten the weight up, do more light repetitions, lots of stretching, uh, be careful when it comes down to putting too much uh, stress, when it comes to running uh, with hard surface, you wanna just kick back because your body does not regenerate uh, like it used to do when you were a child. It slows down and it heals much slower and it takes longer to repair. Great anti-inflammatories that you can take naturally that will not hurt the stomach like omega-3s, bromelain, quercetin, uh, ginger, turmeric, uh, you can juice it, take it in capsules, and make sure you become very aware of good ergonomics, good posture, even good sleeping habits. 
Make sure you're not on your stomach, on your back or side pillow underneath the knees or between the knees. Keep the, the head in line with the spine just like your ears should be over your shoulders when you sit or you stand or when you stand. So make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.